Good morning. Today, Remembrance Sunday, the readings are Mark 13, 1 to 8, and Daniel 12, 1 to 3. What does the news say today? I have to confess that I don't always listen to everything in the news. Sometimes it is just too much to feel up to engaging with it all. Nowadays, we hear about events in news items almost as soon as they are happening and we have the opportunity to comment on them too, to the wider world if we wish. It was not so in Jesus' days, nor in the days of the prophet Daniel, but there was, of course, communication, and news would travel. The destruction of the temple in Jerusalem was recorded at the time as a news item, but Jesus spoke about it happening long before it actually came to pass. Destruction of cities and places in times of war is nothing new. We've seen it these last 100 years happening time and again. We would almost think that it happens more frequently now than ever. It may be true. Jesus has something to say about that. He calls the rumours and events of wars the beginning of birth pains. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. Daniel, some time before Jesus, talks about a time of anguish as foretold in a vision. Jesus, in proclaiming his mission of bringing new life to the world, didn't only speak about the end times. He was also referring to the first century in which the church would see his mission grow, but also challenged. Trials, beatings, death, life for the followers of Jesus certainly will not be a rose garden. But at the same time, there will be divine support so that it will all be well and the church will survive in the mission that God has ordained. Today we are focusing on remembrance and these readings are offering a perspective upon the wars and armed conflicts of the world that have challenged people of all nations up to the present time. Those who went out to war didn't necessarily go to die in the process of fighting for freedom. Especially in World War I they were rather expecting to be victorious and home before Christmas. Since then, we have learned that there's no easy way to win a war or even to come out of it without a scratch on the inside as well as the outside. This year also sees the centenary of the Royal British Legion, the poppy that was introduced in several countries, including the UK, became a symbol of remembrance. Poppies were the only flowers that grew in the devastated fields in Flanders, where most of the battles of the First World War were being fought. They became a symbol of hope, of faith and of love. Their colour, red, is also the colour of blood, indicating that hope, faith and love are often growing through pain. Nevertheless, the poppy is still that symbol of life growing out of death, of light shining in the darkness, of hope in the midst of devastation. That hope, faith and love are also what Jesus is encouraging the disciples to keep hold of in the predictions about the temple. What they see and admire, the temple, will not remain, but God and his mission will remain. His love for the world never ceases. He is working his purpose out to save it against all the odds. I wonder, are you holding on to the words of Jesus? What are the odds that you are struggling with? What do you mean by observing remembrance and wearing the poppy? Is it a symbol of faith, hope and love to overcome the problem of pain? The poem, In Flanders Fields, talks about a torch held high. In Flanders Fields the poppies blow, between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, fly, 
scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Whenever you see or wear a poppy, may you be reminded of the love of Jesus, who gave his life for the whole world, not just his friends, but also his foes. May it shine like an everlasting light in moments of darkness, and may it tell the story of life out of death, and that love shall reign. Amen. <laughs>